Okay, we're on. Okay, so... Ramana Maharishi, with his teacher of enlightenment, uh, talked about something called self-inquiry, or inquiring into the nature of self. <clears throat> What is, the, what is the nature of myself? Can I inquire, not in a mental fashion, but what is myself? Mm -hmm. And here's the thing, like, um, if I hold up this pen, is anybody in this room the pen? No, okay, got a good correct answer there. Nobody is the pen, because a pen is an object, right? If, 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 one is, if one is witnessing or observing an object, then the object cannot be what one is, because one is the observer of the object. Are we, are, is everyone with me? See? So if I hold up a pen, then that, the observer of the pen, is the pe you cannot be the pen, you are the observer of the pen. The observer of the pen is bigger than the, than the circumference. See, this is an object and it has a shape. It has a diameter, and it's limited. This is a limited object. The observer that observes the limited object is, is more oneself than that which is being observed, the object that is being observed. Okay, so what is myself? Like if, and also, a pen is an object which can come and go. It can change. It can get nearer or further, or whatever it is. It's a passing object. It's a transitory object, okay? Okay, so everyone's agreed that one is not, even though I'm holding a pen, nobody is the pen. Everyone must be at least bigger than the pen, because the, the observer of the pen has to be bigger than the diameter of the pen. So the observer is more limitless than the pen, because the pen is a much more, is a, is a limited object. Yeah? Okay. So, what about, so, Everyone's certain that no one is the pen, but what about thoughts? So thoughts are passing objects, yeah? But that which observes thoughts, that which witnesses thoughts, can, is, one, is one one's thoughts? No, because the witnesser of thoughts, a thought is like a limited passing of cloud, isn't it? A thought is like a limited passing cloud. So, one is not the passing cloud, one is the witnesser, or the observer of the passing cloud, which is a transitory, limited object, which changes and passes before. Uh, so, what about images, or memories, or thought, you know, or, or pictures of the future, or the past? Like, it's suddenly, like a picture comes up from when you're three years old with a dummy. Are you, are you that picture? You're not the picture, because that's an object. It's a limited image. So the observer of an image is not an image. And in fact, the observer of all images, is the observer of all images, is it an image? Is that which observes image an image? You have to inquire yourself. That which is witnessing pictures coming and going, is it a picture? Is the observer of picture a picture? No, good. So the witnesser of images and thoughts is not a thought or an image. There is something in, in the mind which is counting seconds, or what we call tracking time. But there is something which observes the tracking of time. Something witnesses time passing, but it, and there is a witnesser of time which is not interested or fascinated by counting seconds. That which witnesses the passing of time. Is that in time? What witnesses time? That which is observing time, I'm going to answer it for you in case you guys don't get it. That which observes time, which has no, no interest in passing seconds, is, in, is timeless. Okay. Now what about location? Like this pen is in a location, it's in this location. But there is something which observes all locations. Like, there is a witnesser of that, of that location, and a witnesser of that location, a witnesser of that location. 
is the witnesser of location in location? No. Good. You've got some right answers there. So, so now if one is the witnesser of thoughts, images and time and location, and the witnesser of time, image, thoughts and location is not, is timeless, is, is imageless, is locationless, okay, so now this is an experiential exercise, so now one is, one is the witnesser of all of these passing limited objects. Is the experience in this place, is it limited? Is there an experience of limitation or contraction? No. Okay, good. Everyone got full marks on that one. It's finished.